The UNI Salsa Club held a dance at the Wesley Foundation on Friday, March 7th. I sat down with Henry Williams and Holly Ricksmeyer to see how this club got started. I'm Henry Williams, I'm the president of Salsa Club. Uh, we just got started, so this is our first semester being officially in our uh, student organization. And um, Holly is our marketing specialist. Yeah, I do all the kind of graphic design work. I design all the flyers and um, help with Facebook promotion and face-to-face -face promotion. And then we're also like co-instructors. Yep. So we teach the lessons, usually before the dance. It's a funny story how we got started. Um, I'm a transfer student from San Antonio. And then when I came to UNI as, uh, about six years ago or seven years ago, I'd never danced before ever. And so I took a dance class over at the WRC, a ballroom dance class, and then it was very scary, but I just took it and then uh, I got really supported by my uh, classmates. And so I took another class and then another class, and then next thing you know, I was like, I really love dancing. And so there was no real salsa dancing here at UNI, and so I felt like we needed to start a club or do something that we can practice our like salsa dancing here. And then um, eventually we, came, we started the Wesley Foundation and then we just had like monthly dances and we had like a nice group here that just liked it salsa dance. Um, I started salsa dancing two years ago. I came to my first salsa club event and then I've been salsa dancing with Henry ever since. We uh, made a connection and so we decided to work together and host events and promote the events and then uh, co-teach uh, lessons. Henry is hopeful that this club will continue to grow over this following year. Since we just started the club this year, we're really looking for more people to sort of get involved and take leader, leadership positions because uh, right now I'm a doctoral student and I'm like, I'll be graduating pretty soon. So I'm looking for someone to take over the club while I'm gone and then for the salsa the community to grow a little, long, a little bigger and stuff. So I know we're trying to get connections in the community to like reach out to like more um, Latin populations also in town and just to build salsa like on campus as well. The Salsa Club not only holds dances to raise awareness for themselves, but also for the benefits of other organizations, like the Northern Iowa Wishmakers. We usually do monthly dances, and I feel like um, through the Wesley Foundation, we could, we could always do a sort of like a fundraiser, and that way we could do more than just dancing as a community. And uh, we reached out to the Wishmakers last year, and they've been very supportive, and they've helped us to like um, promote the club and stuff. So I feel like it's a bonus for both parties. Like we get to like have more dancers that maybe they wouldn't normally salsa dance. And then they also get to like raise money and raise awareness about their cause. And so we, we're always looking for new groups to uh, partner with. Like we, uh, last year we did um, The Wishmakers, we did Dance Marathon, um, Art for El Salvador. We did the Red Cross after the hurricane. Yep. So if, if any other groups are looking to uh, partner with us in the future, for other fundraisers, we're all we're looking forward to that. I think this is our third or fourth time pairing up with the Salsa Club this year, and you know Henry and Holly have just been great about being supportive about the Wishmakers, and it's always fun to come, and you know everybody gets to dance together, and it's always just a good time. I sat down with Connor Kim and Chloe Bassa to find out what the Northern Iowa Wishmakers are all about. The Northern Iowa Wishmakers is is a group is a group on campus that uh, works with the Make Wish Foundation. And what we do, we put on three main fundraisers throughout the year. So we do uh, Fall into Wishes, which is a, a raking event that we do in the community. Uh, Flippin' for Wishes is a pancake breakfast we do at Who Hot. And then there's Swishes for Wishes that is a basketball tournament we do, which is actually coming up at the end of March. So those are our three main ones. We do a lot of fundraisers. Besides that, throughout the year, we do the Car Bash. That's going to be, uh, I think, on Cab's... Uh, uh, homecoming list next year as well. So there's some other some other ones we do, but those are the main three that we do. All of the funds that we raise in all of our events go to the Make-A-Wish Foundation, and then they hold those funds to the side for us, and then they try to pair us with a child in the Cedar Valley area. So we know when we do end up, um, you know, moving that money from the Make-A-Wish or from the Northern Iowa Wish Makers to the Make-A-Wish Foundation, all of the money that goes to that wish child and to that wish has come from us. So it's a really great feeling to be able to be a part of something like that. Be sure to look out for more Salsa Club dances and also to sign up for Swishes for Wishes on March 29th. For UNITV, I'm AC Glassford.